Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back and thanks for joining me. Um, before we get started with any painting, I wanted to tell you guys a few things. Um, so first off, you're probably wondering, what's this? So you all know how much I love my Loli Veffy mats. Well, Adriana, the owner of Loli Veffy, has sent me these new mats that she now has. And they are round, as you can see, and they are perfect for Lazy Susans. So as you can see, there's two sizes here. Okay, we have this size here, which is just shy of uh, 18 inches. So just shy, I think it's like 17 and 0.75, just shy of 18 inches, all right? <clears throat> and then this one here, the bigger one, is uh, 23 and a half inches. So again, just shy of 24 inches. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still sick. Um, so as I was saying, um, you're probably wondering, well, what do I need a round mat for? Well, let me tell you, if you're one of those artists who use a Lazy Susan, this is for you. <laughs> so we all know how much I don't like Lazy Susans. However, now that I have these mats, that may change. So now you're also probably wondering, where on earth do I get a Lazy Susan that is 24 inches? Well, good luck with that because I doubt you'll find one. Um, you might. I don't know, um, the, if you do, let me know, but um, I don't think I've ever seen a Lazy Susan this big, 24 inches. But if you can't find one, I've got a solution. Um, buy yourself some wood rounds. There you go. Buy yourself a wood round. So as I said, this one here is just shy of 18 inches and I have it sitting on a um, 16 inch round, okay? So I have it on a 16 inch round, which is kind of good because the um, silicone mat actually overlaps. So if you got it exactly, let's say for example, it would end up like that and then you'd probably get paint on your round and that would suck. So it's actually kind of cool that it overlaps a little bit. And then what you want to do is you get yourself a smaller round. So this is just like a seven inch round. It could be an eight inch round, whatever, smaller than 16 inch. And then you buy one of these, which is a Lazy Susan Turner. There you go. I bought this off of Home Depot um, in Canada. You have to buy it online. They do not sell them in stores. Um, and Home Depot is the only place I could find them here in Canada. I think they're four bucks each for something. They're not more than $5. Of course, you have to pay shipping. So the more you buy, the better. But it's pretty cool. Um, it comes with screws, which there's no need for me to show you. Um, and then you literally screw it down on one, you get your other piece <clears throat> and then you screw it down on the other. If you don't know how to screw it in, check YouTube. I'm sure there's a YouTube video out there of some handyman showing you how to screw in a lazy Susan turn table thingy. So check that out on a YouTube channel. Cause that's what I did and I'm gonna get my husband to do it for me. But anywho, and there you have it. You have yourself a Lazy Susan. So that is the um, 18, or just shy of 18 inch. So I'll put this one down, like so. And then I'll get rid of this little 12 incher, or seven incher, sorry. And then we have this massive mat, which is 23 and a half inches and I have it on a 23 inch round. Ironically, I happen to have a 23 inch round. So there you go. So I have a 23 inch round. Underneath it, I have a 12 inch round. Again, put in your little spinner, have it screwed down, and then put on the top piece. And there you go, Bob's your uncle. You got yourself a Lazy Susan. So it's pretty neat. I mean, you could put if this is almost 24 inches, you could easily put a 12 by 12 inch canvas on here. So I have, this is a 10 by 10, right? So 12 by 12 would definitely fit and be, and be pretty good on here. Uh, let's see, I have a 12 by 16, which is what I'm gonna be working on. Well, there you go, 12 by 16. So even a 12 by 16 works. 
<coughs> Sorry, guys. So a 12 by 16 canvas also fits on here. So there, it's, it's perfect. And then here you go, blow away, do what you need to do, right? So there is that. And so, yeah, like, I mean, if, you're, if you wanna buy a round and you're in the US, check out my good friend, Karen. Check out her Facebook. It's Carolina Foothills Wood Art. I will put the description below, uh, sorry, the Facebook link in the description below. And you can click on the link and then she sells, she can make anything you want. It doesn't even have to be rounds. It could be mermaids or dolphins or horses or dragons. You name it, she can do it. No joke, guys. Um, check her out. Her name is Karen and just tell her I sent you, okay? I'd really appreciate it if you dropped my name. So that'd be awesome. So if you're in the US and you want any rounds and you wanna make your own Lazy Susan, you can do so. These mats are currently on sale right now. Um, this big one here is a uh, regular $20 and it's on sale now for $16. And then the smaller size is regular $16 and it's on sale for $12. Okay, so the sale is only until this weekend, I believe. I think until Saturday. <clears throat> so check it out. Uh, it's a good deal if you ask me. Now, the other thing that is on sale that just came in, but I don't have one yet because Adriana hasn't sent me one yet, is a square mega mat. Okay, so we all know about the rectangular mega mats and the jumbo rectangular mat. She now has a square, perfect square mega mat. It's 39 inches by 39 inches. Regular price, guys, $60. On sale right now for $50. And if you use code CANELA5, you'll save another $5. So it's really $45. So check that out. So go on the website. There's a whole bunch of things that are on sale right now. So check out the website, guys. I will put the link in the description below. And my code is CANELA5. And that works only on the mega and the jumbo mats, okay? Not these rounds, but the mega and the jumbo. All right, so I will move this now out of the way. All right, without breaking anything. Okay, and I just wanted to show you guys real quick my triptych. Uh, now I forgot which way it went because I kind of messed everything up, but here she is, all dry and varnished. So nice, vibrant, pretty colors. Um, now, if you want it, I'm sorry, it's sold. <laughs> um, it did sell, so it's all, it's gonna I'm gonna wrap it up after this video, and I am going to ship it out. Alrighty, so I wanted to show you guys that, and a lot of people have also been asking me how um, my piece with the primary elements Dutch pour dried. Now. It did, the, the color stayed very, very vibrant, but they actually blended and I ended up with this. So this is the dried result, still very vibrant colors and look at the shimmer. So I haven't even varnished this. This is the polypore guys. This is one really good thing about the polypore. I don't need to varnish this piece. So I'm saving my time and my varnish because clearly it does not need any varnish. Look at the shine in there. So this is how it dried. I kind of like it <clears throat> and it reminds me of the Northern Lights. So it's pretty neat. And then there's the back. You look at, look at the bleeding from the um, primary elements. That's how rich the colors are. So if you want this piece, it is for sale. All right, so if you'd like it, shoot me an email. And she could be yours if the price is right. <laughs> All right. So I think that's it that I wanted to show you for now. Um, and I'll get started on the paint. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So what we are doing is another triptych. I'm really um, <clears throat> having a lot of fun with the triptychs. Let me just kind of straighten out my camera here and move her over. Uh, where am I going? This way. There we go. Now we're somewhat centered. So, as I was saying, 
I'm having a lot of fun with these triptychs. Now, what I have here are um, three 12 by 16. I've actually never worked on canvases this size before. Uh, so this should be interesting. Now to save ourselves a bunch of time, I've already put my f layer of white, my base layer, and I use pretty much this whole entire bottle. And in here I have my Artist Loft Acrylic Flow White with Floetrol and water. If you wanna know how I mix the ratios for this, as, as well as the colors, um, go and check out my video number 63. It'll pop up here on the top. That is my mixing ratio video. So like I said, I've already gone ahead and flooded these canvases just to save some serious time because I think this took me like a good 10 minutes. So trust me, you don't need to see me do that. I'm just uh, using my torch here to pop all the bubbles and just need to add a smidge of white paint there. All right, let's pop the bubbles on this one. All right, so tonight, well, it's nighttime for me. It might be daytime for you. <coughs> Excuse me. I am going all blue, only blue, and dark blues, okay? Now, I've already, before I poured the white down, of course, I made sure my pieces were level. I made sure, all right? So get yourself one of these and make sure your piece is level. Otherwise, it's just gonna slide off in like an hour, half hour. So the colors I'm using tonight are Thalo Blue by Academy or Grumbacher. And then we have Greenish Blue by Amsterdam. And then I have Payne's Gray, which has a blue hint to it. There's different kinds of Payne's Gray, guys. Um, there's a Payne's Gray and it actually looks gray, but then there's a Payne's Gray and it's got a blue hue to it. This is one of those blue ones and it's from Pebeo Studio Acrylics. And then just to lighten it a smidge, I'm gonna go with the Metallic Cobalt Blue by Artist Loft. Those are my colors. Here's my triptych. I'm not gonna do the typical straight line. I thought for once, this time around, you know, I'm gonna kinda do, I don't know, kinda like a squiggly line. I don't even know, but we'll figure it out. So I think I'm gonna start with the uh, Payne's Gray. I have no idea. Like, I mean, maybe I should do a straight line, but let's uh, make some new things, right? Let's experiment. I don't know. Might as well give it a shot. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? I waste a lot of a lot of paint. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, let's do the uh, greenish blue next. So while I'm doing this, uh, if you guys don't forget to check out Juno's YouTube channel and the channel is listed in the description below this is not coming out as easily as the other one because there must be something clogging the tip anywho check out juno's youtube channel it is listed in the description below i'm just adding more and i'll tell you guys why so check them out and uh, go ahead and subscribe to his channel. I would be super happy if you did. He's at, last I checked, I don't know, 555 subs. So check him out. I think I just posted a new video yesterday. Ooh, that is a lot of blue. <laughs> That's a lot of paint, guys. Seriously, a lot of paint. All right, and the last color is the metallic cobalt blue. All right, oh, I love this color. I don't know how this is gonna turn out, guys, honest to God, or honest to goodness, whatever you wanna say. We will see. I'm going to, so this is why I put so much paint. Remember I keep telling you I'm gonna try Dutch pour and not actually flood it with white? 
I'm not going to flood it with white. What I might do is, uh, first I'm going to pop all the bubbles on all this colored paint. There. What I might do is use the existing white paint on the canvas already and just use that and just blow a little bit of that over and uh, we'll see how that can work out. Um, but I definitely am not going to flood it. Um, I don't know. Should I flood it at all? And just should I just start blowing? You know what? I said I wasn't going to flood it, so let's not. Let's just blow it. Now, here's my question. How on earth? I don't want to blow it over. I guess I'll start this way and blow down because this one is pretty up close to the edge. So I'll blow down and I'll go like that. Yeah. And then I'll come back around and get rid of this napkin. And then I'll come back down and I'll go, I guess this way, this way. Th yeah. I don't know. Let's, let's just go for it. All right, guys, wish me luck. Let's do this. Hopefully it works out because there's no white <laughs> over it. All right. This is awkward. Awkward holding here. I don't know which way to go. Uh, <laughs> All right. Well, that's really interesting. So you could tell that there was no what there wasn't enough white on the canvas here because there's literally no white here at all okay these two i i like them all but this one kind of doesn't mix well with these because this has spots of white in it and then this one's just really dark but boy oh boy oh boy oh boy does this look cool this one's my favorite. You know what? I really like the fact that I didn't blow any white over because even though I didn't blow white over, it's still, there's still a lot of white. And look at all the white cells. Okay, so I'm going to leave this. I'm really, really loving this. Now what I want to do is fix this. Now how the heck am I going to fix this? So here, let me put this down for a sec. So what I want to do, oh my gosh, this looks so cool. I want to bring this, move this over. Nice drippings going on over here. Very, very nice. All right, I'm going to move that over. So what happened now is all the drippings from here have gone on this side, but it doesn't match because this is white and now this whole side in here is blue here let me see if i can show you real quick you see that so that won't work um which is fine i'll just take my white squeeze bottle and cover that that's not a problem but what i really really want to do is add some white in here so <coughs> excuse me um i love this this is super super neat so I'm just going to blow, can you even see a little bit? Yeah, I'm just going to blow this over the edge so that it matches with the rest. So let me do that real quick. All right, we'll let that drip down. Wow, that is so neat. All right, so what I'm gonna do 
is I might add a little bit of white. Oh gosh. Well, you know me, I'm going to add a little bit of white and try and blow it. And then if that doesn't work, I'll literally just scrape this part because honestly, this part is so pretty. I really don't want to touch like the rest of this. I'm just trying to mess with this white bubble. I don't know. There we go. I didn't like that white circle in there. All right. How do I fix this? How do I fix? How do I fix without messing it up? I just want some white here. Oh yeah. All right. Let's see what happens. Uh, my hand touched it. Good thing I only touched the white. These are really big and it's really hard. Now, if I had the Lazy Susan, but with just one piece, this would be good, but I don't because they're three pieces. So that wouldn't work anyway. That worked. My voice is so messed up. That worked. That worked a lot. That worked really well. So I'm going to add a little bit of white here. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I know it's really far, but I'll bring you guys in for a close up. But let me just deal with this. All right. There. It added a little white and I'm really happy with that. So I'm going to let this drip and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to let me see if you can see what I'm talking about here. So as you can see, it's gone over about here, but from here to here, it's white. So it doesn't really make sense for this to be colored. So that's not going to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my white squeeze bottle. And this is where these bottles come in super handy, guys. Get these dollar store bottles. And it's just literally like an eraser. There you go. Gone. Now, I know it's a lot of white paint. Like, I mean, I go through a lot of white paint, guys. But if you get the these bottles, here, let me show you. This is what I use. It's $12.99 at Michael's. But if there's a 40 or a 50% off coupon, now that's $12.99 Canadian, right? I'm sure it's cheaper in the U.S. So, you know, just get yourself a bunch of those. That's what I use and it works out perfectly fine and you use that discount and you know, there you go. Oh my gosh, guys, this is pretty neat. I'm really liking this. I hope, hope, hope this all dries like this. I'll put them back together so that you guys can kind of see. I'll bring you guys in for a close up. Uh, I'm just going to blow this over the edge. Just like so. And that's it. So I'll let that drip down. Now the sides, let me bring you guys in and then I'll show you. But. I'm, I'm so, so happy with this. This is unbelievable. Before I, uh, yeah, no, let me grab the camera first. Uh, 
All right. Alrighty. And while I'm showing you guys, huge shout out and thank you to the following people. Erica, Rosalinda, Barbara, and Evelyn. Thank you so much for the PayPal donations. Let me move my lights, guys. Hold on. Get rid of a little bit of that glare. Although, all right. Let me show you how stunning. Oh, I love the lights, but you got to love the glare too, right? Let me just turn that around a little bit. Hopefully that helps. Sorry, guys. Kind of, not really. But I'm taking you guys for a ride. Just trying to find the best way to show you without this glare. But look at this. Look at the cells. Look how pretty you can really see the metallic cobalt blue in there. And then we come to the center one. And again, some nice cells going on. And then the last one, I love these colors here. That's really pretty. I love all the colors, but the way they've blended is super neat. And I'm not going to torch it. I'm not touching it. I don't like torching it anymore. I like leaving it the way that it is. So there you have it, guys. So let me know what you guys think. I think I'm going to try another one again and not blow the white over. I'm really liking the way this turned out. So hit that subscribe bell if you guys are new watching. If you're not new, check the subscription bell anyway, guys. A lot of things have been going on on uh, YouTube land here where things have been kind of wonky. Uh, a lot of people, their notification bells have been turned off and they had no idea. So check your notification bells. Even if you have to unclick it, just unclick it, re-click it. Make sure you click on all notifications and that way you get notified with everything that is happening. And don't forget, check out all my social media links below, guys. Um, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, my Amazon shops. The links are listed below as well. And the PayPal link for anyone who would like to make a donation. I'd really appreciate it. And that's it, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you like this piece and you want it, you know where to find me. Shoot me an email, guys, and let me know if you want the piece. I'll give you guys a price, and it's yours. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Have a good night. I'll catch you guys soon. Bye.